hello everyone welcome to today's webinar on transforming the way you host online meetings with soho click now take a look at today's agenda so i'll start with the challenges faced in conducting online meetings especially when your team is working in remote or hybrid followed by that i'll give you a gist of a few solutions offered by soho click that will address these challenges next we will see a to do list that you should have before you conduct an online meeting followed by that i'll be walking you through how to facilitate an online meeting and finally we will have our q and a session did you know that on average employees dedicate up to 18 hours per week to online meetings and what's even more surprising is a staggering 73% of them admit to multitasking during these sessions according to a survey by atlasian however when we ask how many of these meetings are truly productive and add value there is no solid answer so with that said let's jump right into the challenges faced in conducting online meetings have conducted online meetings there is always that one person who joins late or has some technical issues with connecting while there is no magic wand to banish these challenges entirely we can explore strategies to avoid them to address these challenges we need to start by pinpointing the specific issues once identified we can devise methods to improve the situation so i have listed here five major problems faced as an online meeting host we'll see more about them in the upcoming slides the so challenge one is misused technology when technology is misused or misunderstood it complicates our meetings because it's not about just knowing what buttons to press according to a survey by litmos over 80% of individuals used and use less than 20 percentage of a platform's capabilities next challenge is mishandling distractions when attending an online meeting how often do you find yourself drifting off or becoming sidetracked it's likely that if you're experiencing this others are too such distractions can pave the way for misunderstandings bad decisions reworks and increased frustrations when you or your attendees are distracted you might miss out on crucial details in a meeting challenge number 3 is lack of accountability and poor facilitation without consequences for inattentiveness individuals may drift off multitask or even shop online if such behaviors go unchecked and without a consequence what's the incentive for change again uh, i'll just pull in a few more stats here meeting insight from atlasian showed some shocking statistics on meeting behavior where 96 percentage of uh, professionals have missed online meetings 91% of them have admitted to daydreaming during online meetings 73% of them have multitasked during meetings as i have already mentioned and 39% of them have slept during meetings in other cases people don't talk at all or they talk on top of each other people aren't clear on where we are or what comes next hence online meetings need better facilitation in order to be more successful and less awkward So the next challenge is visual cues. When you can't feel how people are feeling or if they are about to respond or not, we often go more tentative about the communication. As a result, communication and conversations can be ineffective and stilted. The next challenge is background noise. I know pretty much everyone of us have experienced some issue due to the loud background noise that's caused by every participant side and for this I'll share an experience of my own I decided to host a meeting remotely however the meeting experience quickly turned into an hour of frustration and this was due to the loud background noise from every participant side at one point you know I started paying more attention to the vehicle horn sounds than the meeting not just me later i got to know that everyone else in the meeting was disturbed too 
Now I'm going to rope in a few more stats here. According to F IFP, over 55% of remote workers think that a majority of meetings could have just been an email. And this was purely due to the disturbance caused by background noise. And it's easier to hide. If you're in the conference room, everyone can see, see you. And when it's online, they can't. This contributes to some of the issues we have already talked about, but it also makes it easier for people to remain quiet. Yes, so followed by that, I'll just show you a few solutions that Zoho Click offers to address these discussed challenges. As I have mentioned earlier, we cannot put an uh, end to all this, all these hurdles, but we can reduce these hurdles to some extent. So I'll start with no, how knowing your communication platform well will help you conduct me better meetings. So talking about the true potential of your meeting platform, I want to mention the Zoho Clicks intuitive meeting user interface that's designed with user experience in mind. With a clean, uncluttered layout, participants can easily access key functionalities without getting overwhelmed. We ensure that even those who are new to the software can navigate with ease. This intuitive design means less time fumbling around and more time on focused, productive discussions. When you know what technology can do and how to use it properly, your meetings will also go better. Soho Clicks meeting recording feature. This is one of the outstanding feature that offers a seamless solution to capture and archive discuss discussions for future reference. Whether it's to revisit key decisions, share content with team members who couldn't attend the meeting or were facing difficulties in paying attention to the meeting or to maintain a record for compliance purposes, this function ensures that no detail goes missed. As I talk about the recording of the uh, meeting feature in Soho Click, I should also mention the Click for TV app, the all new Android TV app of Soho Click, where you can seamlessly attend scheduled meetings on your TV. And yes, in case you have missed any crucial detail, you can also review your past meeting recordings in this app on your TV. To download Click for TV right away, follow these simple steps. Just go grab, uh, just go turn on your TV, go to the Play Store on your Android TV and search for Zoho Click. Download and install the app and select, uh, select on the sign in uh, button on the home page and a code will be generated in the TV app. Just make a quick note of the code generated and pause for a moment, grab your laptop or mobile phone and Go to the URL that's displayed on your screen, log in using your Zoho credentials and enter the code that's flashing on your TV screen into your laptop or mobile and click on verify. You will now be able to see ongoing and upcoming meetings on your TV screen. You can select join meeting and yes, you can now attend all your upcoming meetings from the Click for TV app. So moving on to the next solution, in Zoho Clicks meeting, uh, participants can utilize a range of expressive gestures to convey their feelings or reactions. It offers a more engaging and interactive virtual experience. These gestures uh, serve as visual cues, enabling clear communication and aiding in uh, reading the room. Whether it's a nod of agreement, a thumbs up, or a gesture of inquiry, these visual hints add depth to discussions, ensuring that even in a virtual setting, nonverbal feedback is both given and received. Next, in order to reduce distractions caused by background noise, Zoho Click came up with the active noise cancellation feature that cancels out all the unwanted noise in meetings. It intelligently filters out all the background disturbances, allowing for crystal clear communication. No more disruptions from unexpected noises or the need to mute constantly and unmute. With Soho Click, it's all about enhancing your meeting experience, ensuring that your voice is heard loud and clear without any unwanted interruptions. 
Okay, now let's see a list of things you need to do before hosting a meeting online. In the real world, once a meeting is set, the logistics are relatively straightforward, be it a conference room or an office space. As long as there are enough chairs, the location typically doesn't impact the meeting's result. However, the online world is different. You, here you are choosing between a phone call or a web platform, and this choice can significantly affect your meeting's outcome. So why is this so choice so crucial? Let's delve into the factors that differentiate these two mediums, the traditional phone or the web platform. Just before hosting an online meeting, just question yourself, are particip participants stationed at the desk? If yes, opt for the web platform and encourage activating webcams. But if they are on the move, a phone or CarPlay option would be more appropriate. Yet. It's crucial to gauge whether they will be fully engaged in such settings. Moreover, if visuals like slides are integral, the web platform is ideal. If resorting to a phone call, ensure that all these visuals are shared well in advance. So here is how Zoho Click can help you with that. Zoho Click's adaptability spans a wide range of devices from desktops and tablets to mobile, smart TVs, or even CarPlay option. Whether at home, in office, or on the move, you are always connected. And while the CarPlay option ensures continuity even on the road, it's essential to highlight its use only when necessary. At the end of the day, the safety of, of our employees is paramount. With Soho Click, we blend convenience, we Ensure collaboration feature, collaboration uh, remains boundless and secure. Next, before scheduling a meeting, ask yourself, do you want participation or is it going to be a one-way sharing of a critical message? If the message is one-way sharing and it doesn't require any visuals, rather than setting up a whole meeting, you can simply go with the video message option that is available on Click. Be but if you want engagement and participation, setting up a meeting gives you a better chance and more participation from the people. Next, always use an agenda. I'm going to state a few more stats here. According to a survey by Doodle, having a clear agenda increases productivity by 67%. Let everyone know what to expect during the meeting and when. With that information, they can plan their schedule better and know what detail to pay attention to during the call. So your agenda should have these following six questions. So the questions are, what is the purpose of the meeting? What would a successful outcome look like? Who needs to be in the room for the successful outcome to reach the successful outcome? What do the participants need from you? What do you need from the participants? And what is your contribution during the call? Now, as you're done with all these prerequisites for conducting an online meeting, facilitating it is much easier. To do that, the WWW format is useful. WWW stands for what, why, and what next. It offers a structured approach to hosting online meetings. Let me break it down to you. Uh, what? So what? Begin with clarity. Start your meeting by outlining what the primary objectives and the topics of discussions are. This sets the stage and ensures that everyone is aligned right from the outset. Next, why? Context is king. Explain why the discussed topics are crucial. This provides participants with a deeper understanding and can ignite a more passion, passionate and a purpose-driven discussion. And what next? Before wrapping up, always address the next steps. Who is responsible for what? Or what are the deadlines? This ensures that every participant knows their responsibility and the path forward is clear. This format not only helps streamline the discussion, but also ensures that every participant remains 
engaged and the goals of the meetings are met next always follow the kiss principle if you are wondering what it means the kiss principle or keep it simple emphasizes the power of simplicity in meetings by focusing on clear objectives eliminating unnecessary jargon and streamlining discussions we will foster better understanding ensure efficiency and maximize productivity in every meeting once you understand these two principles the other points that i'm going to discuss will naturally fall into its place so number 1 the video use or usage of turning uh, on the webcams you can increase video use but be understanding if that's not always possible when team members have the video on for each meeting they can often feel like they are, are performing leading to a quicker burnout giving the coworkers the option can mitigate some of that stress next always find the best time split between the different time zones to build engagement and boost attendance if possible avoid scheduling meetings that are late in the night or early in the morning uh, for your attendees if it's a one way communication as i have mentioned earlier you could just record a video and schedule it along with a short follow up meeting for questions next before the meeting starts assign a small task or provide some reading for each participant to do send this along with your pre planned agenda but you need not make this mandatory but a uh, rather a suggestion so participants can get into the meeting's headspace another tactic is also to assign each member a role during the meeting this will naturally encourage participation and provide a sense of ownership some of the roles you can assign are the note taker the time keeper and the conversation manager next give 5 to 10 minutes of buffer time for casual conversations before the meeting starts with most of the meetings going virtual these days there is a lack of face to face interaction that your team may be craving if you are meeting participants who may not know each other the first thing you should do before diving into the agenda is introduce everyone next brainstorm in advance ahead of time you could invite participants to brainstorm before the meeting via a virtual whiteboard your participants could ask questions review ideas or even make suggestions before your meeting this process can make your meeting more productive and help your participants to get involved to make your meeting more interactive you can also use zoho clicks whiteboard feature where you can collaborate instantaneously brainstorm with your teammates and share ideas on the go so you can use whiteboard by following these few steps that's flashing on your screen click on the share icon in the bottom of the menu and start and select on start whiteboard you can also provide edit access to all the participants in the meeting by clicking on the kebab menu and selecting the edit edit option from the drop down menu so i hope i have given you all an overview of how zoho click enhances online meeting experience and i cannot overlook the capacity of zoho click to host a meeting with up to 10000 participants in a single session you can engage a massive audience over video right from your current location whether it's a town hall discussion or a product launch or a live event at your office click has got you covered the first 1000 participants can actively pass, participate in the meeting while the others who attend the meetings can uh, attend it in watch only mode still being able to use gestures we use this almost every week here at soho where the company ceo goes live to answer our questions it's an effective method for making announcements and conducting online events as i have already mentioned yes so with that we have arrived to our last part of the agenda ending your online meeting successfully so to do that always end your online meeting with a quick survey of how participants felt uh, during the meeting and how the meeting went and if they would like to change it for the next time 
if you continuously feel like you are and receiving the engagement level you need ask for feedback this feedback will help you improve your next meeting yes so thank you for attending today's session